Good morning, everyone. It is Wednesday, April 6th. It's time for a daily devotion. I'm going to read Mark chapter 10, verses 46 through 52. Then they, Jesus and the disciples, came to Jericho. As Jesus and his disciples, together with a large crowd, were leaving the city, a blind man, Bartimaeus, which means son of Timaeus, was sitting by the roadside begging. When he heard that it was Jesus of Nazareth, he began to shout, Jesus, son of David, have mercy on me. Many rebuked him and told him to be quiet, but he shouted all the more, Son of David, have mercy on me. Jesus stopped and called him. So they called the blind man, Cheer up on your feet, he's calling you. Throwing his cloak aside, he jumped to his feet and came to Jesus. What do you want me to do for you? Jesus asked him. The blind man said, Rabbi, I want to see. Go, said Jesus, your faith has healed you. Immediately he received his sight and followed Jesus along the road. My favorite of Jesus' healing stories are, are when he heals the blind. And the reason for that is because healing blind people is the miracle that Jesus still does the most today. And I'm not really meaning the way he did for Bartimaeus. Uh, Bartimaeus' story is fun for a lot of reasons. He, you know, the crowd tells him to be quiet, but he keeps saying, no, no, have mercy on me, son of David. And then Jesus really does ask him what he wants, because if Bartimaeus could see, his livelihood would be destroyed. He made his living by begging. And so if he could see, he was going to have to go and find another job. So Jesus really wanted him to know if he really wanted to see. And he did. This story is one that can be incredibly powerful today. Because all of us are blind. We're blind in so many different ways. Usually we're blind to our own weaknesses. No one says, I'm a racist. No one says, I'm a bigot. No one says, I'm a terrible human being. Uh, I don't even know if sociopaths say, I'm a sociopath. I, I, you know, we don't see the, the things about ourselves. We want ourselves to look good. So we, we wind up becoming blind. And we wind up being blind to those outside of us. You know, we see things that are going on with the people who we care about, unless we really don't want to, and then we close our eyes to them as well. But a lot of times we don't see the person struggling on the street. We don't see the blind man on the street corner saying, help me. We don't see that in our county we have people who are losing their homes because housing prices are soaring at a unprecedented level and normal people can't afford to live in this county anymore. We have all of these things, you know, I, I gotta be honest, people who are white don't see the problems that people who are black have on a day-to-day -day basis. We don't see what we don't wanna see. We are blind of ourselves and the world around us. Occasionally, we will hear that Jesus is walking through town and we will start saying, have mercy on me, Jesus, son of David. And Jesus asks us, do we really wanna be healed? Do we really wanna see and a lot of times we say, you know what? Just kidding. I don't want to see. Because if I see, I have to change. If I see, I have to grow. But the times we do say, Jesus, I want to see. 
our eyes begin to open. Sometimes it's a little by little, sometimes it's everything at once. But we start to see, we start to see the things in ourselves that really need to change. We start to see the world around us and the people, the, the exact people who God has called us to care about, the poor, the oppressed, the sinner, the prisoner, the immigrant. We start to see them for who they truly are. And then we have to change. Jesus heals our blindness all the time. And to me, it's still a miracle. It is just as much of a miracle as when he opened the eyes of Bartimaeus. Because there's not a part of me that really wants to see. I want to stay who I am. I want to stay the person that is comfortable and happy and goes through my life in, in, in bliss without knowing what's going on. But Jesus causes us to want to change. We are called to follow Jesus. And when we follow Jesus, we have to start seeing. And Jesus does it for us. Now, I don't know if it's our faith has healed us the way Bartimaeus's was. I, to me, sometimes I think uh, it is the, the gift that, that Christ gives us, or, or maybe it is. Maybe it is the faith that God gives us because it's not from us. It's from God. But we do start to see. We start to see that I am not the perfect person that I think I am. And I'm only halfway joking about that. I'll always say, no, I'm not perfect. And yet there's a part of me that thinks, you know, I'm pretty dang close. But I'm not. And we get to see the world around us for what it truly is. We can try to keep our eyes closed. We can try to keep saying, you know what? Everything's fine. We need to go back to the way it was because everything back then was better. And maybe it was for middle class and upper middle class white people certainly isn't for everybody else but we want to keep our eyes closed because then we can be comfortable we don't have to grow we don't have to change but if jesus christ gives us the miracle of being able to see it changes our world it shows us what the love of christ truly is because it means that Jesus loves me for who I really am, not who I think I am. And it means that Jesus loves the world around us for who they truly are, even in their struggles, even in all that they go through. And it's a miracle that I get a chance to help and focus on loving them. So today, if Jesus asks you, what do you want of me? Do we have the courage to say, I want to see? Do we have the faith to say, I want to see? Or do we want to just stay in our blindness and be comfortable? Let's pray. Holy Lord, thank you for this morning. Thank you that you continue to give us the miracle of being able to see and the growth that we need to have happen. Thank you for your miracles. Thank you for opening Bartimaeus' eyes and for opening ours. We ask this in your name. Amen.